Yeah, so. One could easily say, well, how can we get this to work for us? Well, simply put, we need to start being a little bit more uh, open. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. What I mean by open is a little bit more transparent. We use words and terms too loosely. <clears throat> okay, so what I mean. It's your friend or your boy, your homie, your sister. You know what I'm saying? Your brother. But in the same sense, the titles that y'all carry, you don't put in the amount of work that the title bears. <coughs> what do I mean by that? Well, our people got a problem with thinking that people in their business. But we nosy as hell. What do I say? What do I mean by that? So my my dude, we supposed to be putting something together. You you go through some home turbulence. But because you're too proud or whatever, you got your fucking drawers in a bunch, you're not sharing that information. <clears throat> but on the flip side, when we all hanging... <coughs> You're still trying to put the business together and put your ideas and we're still trying to do shit. But I'm not knowing that you're not fully there because your mind clouded. Now, you might say, well, hey, and nigga ain't got to tell you his business. And that's not telling you your business. But when you build a relationship, a bond, a team type situation, some camaraderie, transparency has to be here. I have to know that you're not being 100 up here. Therefore, I know where to put in that extra weight to get us over the hump and vice versa. And when you're dealing with your your um your significant other, transparency. When something wrong, say it's wrong. And let's quit buying into all the bullshit. Praying ain't gonna make shit happen. I'm here to tell you that. I'm, I'm here to tell you that. <clears throat> you can pray till your goddamn lips fall the fuck off. Praying ain't going to get you shit. You can meditate. Meditate, just clear your thoughts out and give you some clarity on <clears throat> nowness. You're not going to meditate and make some shit pop up. Boop, boop, boop. That's not how this shit work. Put that shit on the shelf and do that. That's personal hobby shit. If you want to chakra and kundalini and do all that, humming and lighting incense and doing all that, do it. That's cool. I enjoy frankincense, a little mirror in the air. I know I did me some knock nah, chomper blowing through this joint, but what I'm saying is, I also know that in this now, nah, see, we, we, we want to get into all these different little goofy-ass tangents, and all of that shit take the focus off of the main thing, which is you doing and not sitting there consuming. So you have those conscious motherfuckers think you tell you all that's bullshit and how you thinking that, oh, I need to sit down and slow down and read all these books and kind of, man, I don't, look, I've been doing this longer than a lot of these people that y'all think is on this YouTube conscious shit. I'm here to tell you that. I might look a little young or you might say, well, no, you're not that young. I see some little grays in your beard. Yeah, well, get off my beard. Anyway, I am young. But I've been doing this and studying in this area for over 30 years consistently when people know me if you come to my city or you come around my peers the people who know me know me for this they know me for talking speaking and being like this no i didn't manifest nothing i didn't manifest anything i am what i am the same way you are who you are but to become a better you you have to start asserting yourself in those areas in which you want to be better at. If you want to be better in communications, sit down. Think about how do I communicate better with my better half or my child or my grandma or my mom or my dad. The same way you think about it when you want that fucking fresh pack of hair, you, you get your ass up and you go get it. When you want them, when, when you want that new Call of Duty, you get your little crusty ass up off the couch and go get it, boy. Why you can't take that same $60 that 
you about to throw it away because the video. Look, let me tell you something. You about to throw it away because the video game is only gonna be interesting you for so long before you stop playing and you put it to the side. Am I saying you wasted sixty dollars? No, because from your perspective, you didn't waste it because it's always here for you to play. <clears throat> now here's the catch. You could have took that same sixty-five dollars, split it in half, put half in one stock, half in another stock. Same type of gamble. I mean, shoot, after so long, you're gonna probably become not interested in the ups and downs of the stock because you you won't properly educate yourself. You know what I'm saying? And then you're gonna think you wasted your money, but you didn't. <clears throat> because ultimately one of those could bring that money back to you two three four five you see what i'm saying y'all gotta learn that. quit trying to feed into all these theosophies and all this bullshit there ain't nothing manifesting to you boy until you understand i'm not saying that none of that is real what i'm saying is until you overstand and in your overstanding you realize that in overstanding, you lend no space to understand. In overstanding, you realize that you lend no space to understand. Ponder on that. I'll be right back, man. I'll be right back because I'm still on this. I'm still on this, man. You, you make it happen. You do. You don't wait and wish and pray and hum and you do.